<laughs> Ooh, is that the Allen Denton? Yes, let me go over. Ooh, look at the color on this little cutie. Five ninety nine. Ooh, and look at the blue. That's, that's okay. really pretty. Well, today we are at our local Goodwill. I'm hoping to find some vintage Christmas, so we're gonna be taking a look at that, and we're gonna find some pottery that we bought last week and already resold. Let's get inside. Well, Michael's excited. <laughs> color today is purple. Oh, yay, we have a cart. Here we have the animated Mrs. Claus and the Santa. And it's Telco. We it. No, we don't. They're $10 each. Mm. I feel like um, Telco is a good brand. That I would have to look up before I spend ten dollars each. Ooh, more Christmas! Oh, look at that nutcracker. Oh, that's pretty. With it looks like ice. Twelve ninety nine. Got a Santa. Made in China. I want to take a look at this nutcracker. It looks different. Ooh, it's made in China. It looked um German to me. Okay, so I was looking for the Allen Ditton pottery base. I should have just got it. The last one we got at the our last video sold for fifty dollars. So I came back for it and I think it's gone. That's pretty Westmore pottery 2019. It's just a single bowl. That looks like it could be Italian. Terra Rose. Oh, it's Stengel. For $2. Hmm. I'm gonna look that up before, only because it's very large and heavy. Oh, we have some glass of hummingbirds. Plastic hummingbirds. Those are all right. Bam. Suction cup on the window. We have the sugar. The sugar fruit. I kind of spit it out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That looks like it has some age. Made in Italy. For $5. Um, I'm going to leave that for 5 It's just a single cup and saucer. It's hard for me to pass up on... Italian pottery. What else do we have? Some Halloween. This Mexican pottery. I think it's Mexican. It looks like it would be. What else? Some sugar leaves. <laughs> oh, they're metal. I think they're metal. Did you see anything? <laughs> Ooh, is that the Allen Denton? Yes, let me go over. Ooh, look at the color on this little cutie. Five ninety nine. Ooh, and look at the blue. That's, that's really pretty. I like the blue one. Seven ninety nine. That's a good price. Yeah, the last one we got um, sold for fifty dollars. These are smaller, so. Yeah, probably a little bit less, but that's a good price for that. Take a look at these Asian vases made in China. Hand decorated. I wonder if that's supposed to have a, a stopper. It almost looks like it would. It's $3.99 and $3.99. It's a porcelain. I'm not too sure about those. Look at the baby. It's plastic. Oh, it's a bank. Made in China. 
Oh, it's for someone's baby shower. That's what I thought. Look at this planter down here. I noticed the green glaze. It's definitely more modern. I kind of like that. $5.99. Hmm. Um, ooh, look at the eyes on that cherub. A little bit too dark. <laughs> oh, let's see if there is anything over here. Kind of looks like it's a little empty than usual. Another Asian vase made in... Hold on. All right, I'm being bad. It says made in Japan for $7.99. I do like that, though. There's a lot of detail. What else is there? We have this um, platter. Don't be homesick. <laughs> I can't peel that off. Oh, we have this tin. I wonder if this is the uh, older tin, though. So that I'm going to put in and research it a little more before I spend $8. Notice this. Made in Japan. I wonder about the Moon and Stars Avon bottle. I'm not totally sure about that. I wish it was Ellie Smith. I keep picking this up also. Five ninety nine. What's the color again? Purple. Oh, that's um, Camper Pottery. Ooh. A little bit of chips on there. For $3.99. I can't, I have to... Alright, I can't pass that up for $3.99. For um, Camper Pottery. Goes in there. I'm glad we have our coats for protection. <laughs> that's pretty. Andrea. Ooh, look at the birds. Oh, I like that. Bonnie Vida. All right, nothing down here. Ooh. Ah, more pottery. Hmm. I don't know what that says. 2013. I'm going to put that there. Right, did you see anything? Ooh, look at the owls. It's all marked on. Um, who made it? Sulfur. It's Japanese bronze. Face. <gasps> Ooh, uh, sulfur over 100 and 200. Well, there's all the scratches on it. Um, yeah, that's scratch. It was hmm. a little bit cheaper, yeah. Get it. Man, but yeah, I saw that last time. It's missing the family. And it's chipped. I was thinking maybe this was Jen Jonathan Adler. It's Pier 1. I saw this, so it looks kind of cool. It's Ooh, restaurant wear. Buffalo, China. Ooh, that is a different pattern. $7.99 for the set. Mm. I'm just trying to look it up. Look at this pottery. It's Japan. It's pretty. Alright, let's see what we have in the Christmas section. I have this glass angel. Tuscany. I keep seeing that everywhere. It's $8.99. Is that a buyer's choice? No, I could tell it's not. China. Um, these are nice angels. Are these the willow tree? No, they're not. It's not a bad price, six ninety nine for the set. Oh, we had this before. <sighs> Ooh, look. For dollar ninety nine. I'm totally good at that. <laughs> and it comes with the candles. <gasps> Ooh. Are we keeping it? I don't know yet. I think we're missing one, right? The N. 
All right, let's see if we can find any more vintage Christmas. Let's see this Mickey Mouse. Looks like it'd be a Lennox. Oh, it is Walt Disney. There's no price. Hmm. I'm going to put it in and see if I could get one. I'm going to look it up before, though. But I'm pretty sure um, Disney Lennox sells pretty well. I look at these enamel snowmen. They're soup cups. $8.99 for the set. Stay there. Let me get the bowls with it. I do like that. I'll put this in. Any um, ornaments? Any shiny bright. That is not spoiled. Do you see the Santa Claus? A replace of the star. Alright, this Noel set is a hobbyist piece. It's on sale 40% off, so I'm going to get that. Put that on cart. A little bit of scratches on the back. But I don't see any chips. These bowls back here, I, from a, a glance, it looked like um, Catherine Holmes. <laughs> it's not. It's easy, exotic. I kind of like those, though. It's a different pattern. Let's go over here. We have this um, brass face for $8.99. I would spend $8.99 if there was two of them. It's just one. And for some reason, brass for us takes forever to sell. We usually end up taking a best offer for like half of what it's worth or what we have it listed for. Oh, I like that. As a cherub on there. And it looks like it's a little bit older. It's yeah. the cord. Mm -hmm. That is vintage. Um, 70s? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I do like that though. Mm -hmm. It kind of have a, has an antique look. Yeah. Art Nouveau. <laughs> we have this teacup nightlight. That's kind of neat. It's a half of a cup. <laughs> I mean, if you're into the teacups, that'd be perfect. $2.99. Are you gonna get it? Yeah. $6.99. Yeah, that's not bad. $30 more? $40? <gasps> mm hmm. I would say so. I wish there was two. <laughs> Found your lunchbox. <laughs> Is that Beethoven? I would totally get it if it was a cat. Oh yeah, I would too. Okay, so I found this pottery mug. It, has, it looks like it has a Tanala bird. A pretty design on it. There's no um, signature saying it's made in Mexico. So for $2.99, I'm going to get it. I feel like that's something that will sell well. Like 15 Put that in. This... No, the ten. Even though I like it, I think we have any room at home for it. You know, somebody has it for five. Oh yeah, we can't do that. Twelve. And they want eight dollars. Eight dollars. Put that back. <laughs> research more. Yeah. Look at this pretty bowl back here. I don't, I'm not sure if I already showed everybody that. I keep picking it up. I kind of like the the pink roses with the green. CT. And it has an eagle for $10. I do like that. What about this teacup? Um, Bone China. Let me take a look. Oh, they're two different ones. I think I was looking more at the um, saucer. Oh, there's a throw. Looks like it's brand new with um, a Christmas throw with uh, bears on there. Oh, it's $20. Mohawk rug. All right, put that back for $20. <laughs> Ooh, did you find anything? Oh, the Thomas Kincaid I looked at before. I can't tell if it's real or not. No. I don't think it is. Somebody's framed. $100. Ooh, look at this one. That's a little bit different, Michael. Looks 
looks like a print. Uh, it looks like a print. Let's turn it over. Museum, museum art shop. Oh, I'll be. Fifteen ninety nine. I'm not sure about that. They were trying to see if there was a lithograph um, signature and a date. You don't see one? All right. Ooh, look at that. It's an Adirondack welcome sign. Oh, I know these are kind of worth some money. That's $20, so. I mean, if you want to buy it in like Lake George, I think it's like 100 bucks. It's handmade. But I gotta leave that. These are kind of neat. They're made to look like they're from the 60s. I just wish they were um, blue or orange. Alright. Hey, if you need a plunger, you just come to Goodwill and buy one. <laughs> Alright, let me go over here to the silver. I haven't been finding anything on in the silver section. We used to find a lot of sterling. That is not. That's a nice jewelry box that says Hope on there. Oh, we have this hobnail. Um, I thought it was the Moonstone. It's not. Hmm. That's um probably international silver. Yeah. Press coins. Oh, is that EAPG glass? I think so. Um, does it feel heavy? I know it's supposed to be like heavy and kind of sharp. That's not. It does look like it though. I like that with the gold. And what about this gold? Oh, that's one that we might have to look up. I mean, it's all scratched up. But you get the teapot and the coffee pot. The salt and pepper for $50. Hmm. I didn't realize the price sticker fell off. It was sitting right there. It's seven dollars. It sells for about thirty dollars new, and this is used. So I'm gonna leave that. Goodbye, Mickey. <laughs> All right, we have this ornament. I thought it was a paperweight at first. Oh, it's hand painted. Hmm. That's alright. I don't really like the colors too much on there. It's kind of dull. Lee Max. We have this um, girl right here. I wanted to take a look at this vase. I may have looked at it before. I think it's the, um, what do you call that? Spaghetti string art? I'm not, I'm not sure about that. $4.99. But I had to take a look at it. I noticed it when I was looking down here. <laughs> This bag of goodies. I'm um, nothing that's popping out there. That looks like it's Italian plastic wine glasses on the go. <laughs> yeah, these pretty plates here. We've been picking up a lot of dishes. Uh, Aletta Gardens. I do like that blue design around there. We have this type of chintz design for $5.99 in the Westmoreland. Oh boy, I really like this. $5.99. Are you getting that dish? It was antique, I think 1860s. Oh, it's late 1860s. Yeah, from Westhead Moor. Ooh. It's only five ninety nine, so we should be able to get um we get the sale like on that. Forty fifty? Okay. Or we'll more. do that first. Because I don't see any like this. Yeah, the scallop type of edge. I wanna find an oyster dish. <laughs> Alright, I think we are going to check it out. We're getting the pottery mug, the Noel, the um Alan Ditton, 
pottery vases, the camper pottery, antique dish, and the cherub um, light. I just want to test this to see if it turns on. Let's see. Ooh, it's magic. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, it works. Let's go check out. Um, yeah, I'll use his. Uh, I love it. And the Noel. It works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> so your toe is going to be 4205. Oh, not bad.